this Marks Reviews and Tutorials video. Today, we're, um, this is a very important video today. I'm actually replacing the seat sensor map um, in the car. In the passenger side seat, apologize for all you Americans, the steering wheel's on the other side, but in the passenger side seat, uh, there's a sensor mat. So the airbags are only turned on when uh, there's someone sitting in the seat. So the airbags on this side won't fire in an accident. Um, now there are what's called seat emulators or little shortcuts available. If the sensor mat gets water on it, it appears it fails. I had a water bottle of water spilt on mine and it failed. I've got an airbag light come up and as I've been reading around, it looks like getting water on it, leaving a window down in a storm or something like that. Um, the sensor mat gets damaged and needs to be replaced. Now all over eBay, there's these little shorting out systems which tell the system that your seat has got someone in it so the airbag is turned on. Now initially I thought, well that sounds like a good idea because a car of this age, if you're ever in an accident big enough for the airbags to go off, it's not coming back anyway. It's, it's not gonna be an issue. So you could therefore have the airbag on all the time and have that airbag go off. But not the case, what I've discovered from my research is that the seat maps and the base of the seat down here, there's sensors in them and the sensors are placed right across the seat. So we can tell if there's a young child sitting in there um, or if there's a bag of shopping sitting in there, or if there's a reverse baby seat sitting in there. Um, so there's got multiple sensors. So if an adult sits in, it knows, or if just a little kid sits in. Why does that matter? Um, this airbag in the top here in the dash is really dangerous for a very young child. If you've got someone really small in the front, the airbag goes off. We're talking massive damage to them, can even kill them. That's why the sensors are there. Because in a bad accident, even the worst accident, if it's only de if it's not detecting an adult or a heavy enough, big enough person, it won't fire that airbag. The same with the reverse facing baby seat. If it's here and the airbag goes off, it's a problem, not safe at all. So the emulators, uh, I reckon the only reason they exist is because this is a hard job to change it and it's an expensive job to buy that mat. Um, there is no, that I could find, there's no non-genuine option for buying this sensor mat available. Probably because everybody's just buying the emulators. To get underneath and just flick out a plug and plug an emulator in really quick, but if you're selling the car, which everybody does eventually, you're selling something which I believe is unroadworthy and very much unsafe, um, because if there's a young kid in the front, there's an accident, the airbag goes off, it's gonna go off, and that can be really, really bad. So anyway, I'm not gonna waffle on about that. Um, well, actually, I, I will. I'll make this a separate video um, as to why it matters um, and what goes on, and then a different one for actually how to put this in. Um, it costs 400, this is in Australia, the seat mat is 400 plus GST, so 440 is gonna cost you for a seat mat. They're very expensive, and it's half a day to um, pull the seat out, um, and you need big tools, a T50 Torx, you can see down on the, the floor there I'm using to get this out. A lot of sets of Torx sets finish at T40 and T45. So um, yeah, it's, it's inconvenient, but the simple fact is this is a safety feature um, and it can make your car extremely dangerous if you bypass that seat mat. So yes, it's not a good enough reason because it's expensive to um, not do it. 